Hi! In version 2.2 of Honkai Star Road, we're beginning a brand new 5-star unit called Robin. Robin is a physical unit following the path of Harmony. We'll be getting yet another limited 5-star Harmony unit, and it almost feels like they forgot to release them before, and now are just mass releasing them. Just aside, Robin is looking to have a very unique kit and a very interesting take on the buffer role. So in this video, I'll be going through everything about her kit, simplifying it, and explaining how to use each part. But do note, this video is very subjective to change, so do keep that in mind. Before we start, I'll be giving away a supply pass slash welcome moon slash crystal card to my subscribers at 4k subs. So make sure you subscribe to enter. Starting off, Robin's talent, Tonal Resonance. Increases all allies crit damage and also when allies attack an enemy, she will gain additional energy. This is a very simple talent, but it implies the usage of crit damage users like DPSs or Bronya slash Sparkle and the usage of multiple attackers, whether it be a DPS or support to increase Robin's energy gain. Next is Robin's skill, Pinion's Area. Increases damage dealt by all allies for 3 turns. The duration decreases at the start of her turn like Ron May, so this will make her quite skill point efficient which is always nice to see. But once again, increasing all allies damage dealt really suggests the usage of multiple damage dealers. Then we get to the meat of Robin's kit, her ultimate, Vox Harmonic Opus Cosmic. This makes Robin enter the Cosento state, and when in this state, she is immune to crow control and cannot have a turn. Instead, Cosento appears on the action order, and when it has a turn, Robin returns back to normal and is able to gain turns again. During this state, Robin will increase all allies' attack and make all allies take action immediately. Additionally, whenever an ally attacks while Robin is in this state, she will do additional damage with a damage set to 100% crit rate and 150% crit damage. Essentially, what this ultimate does is Robin trades her own turns for a bit to give everyone else turns, and then after a bit of time, she comes back. The Concentral in the action order has a speed of 90, so as long as the unit is not abysmally slow, you should be able to comfortably get at least 2 turns of each unit before this state ends. While Robin is in this state, she increases everyone's attack and will do additional damage when any ally attacks, including follow up attacks, but with a fixed crit rate and a crit damage. This last part is both a blessing and a curse. While this does make her additional damage hurt a good amount more, and makes relic farming for her much easier since it's a fixed amount, the other side of the story is that this makes her so you cannot further increase her crit damage. And last but not least, her technique, Overtune of Inebriation. Makes enemies follow Robin without attacking her, and when entering the battle, Robin gains 5 energy at the start of each wave. Many may overlook this, but this works the same way as Black Swan's technique work, where it activates at the start of each wave. While I won't say this makes or break a team, gaining 5 energy at the start of each wave, especially for mob focused content like Pure Fiction is really strong. Now we'll get to her bonus trace abilities. First we have Sequential Passage, which makes Robin heal a bit when her talent is triggered if below 50% HP. Not gonna lie, it is a bit confusing of a trace, but it does slightly incentivize no sustain or hybrid damage sustains like the brand new adventuring. The second is Impromptu Flourish, which makes it so when Robert is in her ultimate state, allies follow up attack will do more crit damage. This is where we truly see the specialty of Robin. Her whole case sounded like a really unique take on the multiple DPS buffer role like Ron May, but after seeing this, where she really shines. And that is in multiple DPS follow up attack comps. Now you might say, that sounds really specific, but the fact is that we already have one using Doctor Ratio, Topaz and Adventuring. Now of course, a mere 10% crit damage is not enough to force you to use follow up attackers. But that is the point, so that while she likes follow up attackers, she will also work well with others. And third, Color Hua Cadenza, which advances Robin's action forward when the battle starts. Basically a free one whack. Nothing really special, but it's always nice to guarantee you get your buffs off before any DPS do any damage. So yeah, that does it for Robin's kit. Honestly, not too complex, but definitely a bit confusing when only put into words, especially her ultimate. Now that we understand her kit, let's talk how to play her optimally. Realistically, it's very simple with only one caveat, which is when to use her ultimate. So when playing her, you just want to skill every 3 turns, but for her ultimate, make sure to use it right after your slowest unit has a turn. So for example, let's take a look at this picture. You see how we have a group of action of our units, then the enemies. To fully utilize Robin's ultimate action event, you want to ult right after Topaz gets a turn. Because that will allow you to get basically 2 waves of action. Instead of, you get a wave of action, and then the enemy gets a wave of actions. But other than that, she is a really simple unit and should be a pretty comfortable unit to play as well. One other thing I want to mention is a trick that might be useful sometimes. Robin's Concerto Countdown after ulting gets reset when going to the next wave. So if you ult and can kill all the enemies in this wave, you can prolong the duration of Robin's ultimate. However, it comes at a cost of losing skill points due to literally no Robin turns and sacrificing some damage later on as her ultimate is gonna take longer to get. So while this is a neat trick, this definitely needs more testing. 
but it really doesn't end there as the part of playing her is building her correctly. Of course, I'll look into how to build her more deeply when my complete Robin guys comes out, but for now, here are two things I really look forward to when playing Robin.